brought somebody with me tonight back behind this stage. He's a monster. He's a big, orange, hairy monster. Yeah, his name, his name is Melvin T. Monster. But you're not a scary monster, okay? You don't have to worry. I'm going to go back here and see if he'll come out and talk to us. He usually brings some puppets for us to see. All right, let's go back here and see who he brought with him. Are you ready for this? All right. Hello, boy, Dandarwood. How y'all are? I don't fit too good right here, but I'm so glad to see you. Melvin. Huh? Melvin. What's that? Melvin. Is that you, Lord? Melvin. Was that you, boy, boy? Melvin, church has started. Yeah. You didn't brush your hair for church. I so embarrassed. I forgot to brush my hair for church tonight. Tonight, I boy Melvin brings some little friends who going to come sing for you. In a minute, we're going to make it really, really dark in here. And they're going to come out and sing for you. Here they are. The singing penguins, give them a big hand. Here they come, and amen, amen. <laughs> I hope Melvin doesn't eat the penguins, don't you? Oh, my goodness. Well, I've got somebody else I need to introduce you to tonight. He's right back here. We're going to bring him out. This is my good friend, Samson the Strongman. And he is ready to take up our offering tonight. He has been working out. He is all pumped up and ready to help weigh the offering, boys against the girls. All right? Let me get his hand twisted back that way. All right. How many of you kids brought your offering tonight? Good. Now, every night, the heaviest bucket will get to do something. And you don't mind holding the person a little while, do you? Good. Okay. But first, first, you need to hold this special hat. Now, Abby... Down inside this hat, there are all kinds of bright colored silk handkerchiefs. And they all stand for the same thing. They all stand for sin. But guess what? The Bible says, the Bible says all of us have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Not only that, this is the bad part, it tells us the wages. Or the payment for sin is death. Whew. Boy, that part doesn't make me feel good. How about you? But it tells us also that the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Isn't that cool? He's our Lord and Savior. Now, Abby's got a hat full of sin. Now, I'm going to go back here and get this purse, Abby. Now, I'm going to bring it out there. And we're going to open it up and turn it inside out so everybody can look at it and see that it's empty on the inside. Now, Abby, what I'd like you to do, please, ma'am, is one at a time, hold these up, say the color, and put them down in the bag, okay? And this old parasol is going to remind us of Jesus. You see, Jesus was God. He came down to earth. He put on flesh, just like a man. He walked among us. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. He preached the gospel. He helped the poor. And finally, Jesus died on a cross for the sins of all the world, because he loved us. But did he stay dead? What happened? He rose again. Now when Jesus went to that cross, do you know what he did? He bore our sin. He bore my sin. He bore your sin. He carried them to the cross. And he paid the price for your sin. Upon the cross. That's what he did. He paid the price for your sins upon the cross. Now have you been holding on, Abby? 
You've been holding on? Because Jesus paid the price for our sins, guess what? We don't have to have our heart full of sin. Reach in there and pull all that out, Abby. Instead of having our heart all full of sin, open that up for me, Abby. You see, we can have Jesus on the inside. Is that all right? You like money? Hey, Abby, you like big bills? Yeah? Okay. I'm going to pay you off tonight with a big bill. Y'all give Abby a big hand. There you go. Did you hear anything? Andy! Sound asleep. Okay. You know what to do. On the count of three, give me a really loud wake up, Andy. Are you ready? Here we go. Here we go. One, two, three. Hey, hey, what's going on? Who's hollering at me out there? Come on, Annie, it's time to get up. What are you doing? Come on. What are you doing? I'll just lay on my suitcase. It's time for Kids Crusade. It is. Right. Why didn't you say so? Come on. Woo. <laughs> now, Andy, uh -huh. can you say hello to everybody? Hello, girls. Woo. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. Okay. Aren't these nice looking boys? Yeah, they're nice looking. All right. Now, sit up. I am sitting up on this short. Okay. Well, I want you to be on your best behavior, okay? This is as good as it's going to get. That's what I was afraid of. Now, listen. Now, think real hard. Jesus had a disciple. His name was John. And he, all right, Peter, Peter, Peter. Okay. Now, John was a disciple, too, but this story's not about him, okay? All right. All right. Now, the disciples were following after Jesus. Yeah. And one day he gave them a command. Oh boy. He told them to do something. Like what? He said, I want you guys to get into this boat. Huh? Get into this boat. I don't see no boat. They had a boat. All right. Okay. Get into the boat. The invisible boat. No, it wasn't. It wasn't invisible. It was real, okay? If you say so. Okay. Man overboard. Would you stop it? Peter started to sink in the water, and as Peter was sinking, he was calling out for help. He said, Lord, please help me. Save me. And when he said this, do you know what happened? What, what happened? Jesus stretched out his hand and shoved him under. <laughs> no, he didn't shove him under. Oh, I would have. Why would you shove him under? Because he didn't do what Jesus said. Now listen, Jesus stretched his hand out. He grabbed hold of Peter. He did. And he lifted him up. Woo. And together they walked safely back to the boat. Oh, wow. Now, so this story, it, it has a happy ending. The story has a happy ending. Oh, that's good. That's good. The disciples were amazed. Peter trusted in Jesus. And kids, Peter kind of reminds me of the way some Christians can be. Sometimes someone will make a decision to follow Jesus. Perhaps they'll kneel at an altar or pray with the preacher on television. Perhaps they'll be sitting in their seat and somebody will ask them to raise their hand and, and pray along. Maybe they make a decision, I'm going to follow Jesus. But sometimes along the way people get their eyes off of Jesus. That's a big uh oh. Yes, it is. They get their eyes off of Jesus. They get their eyes on what other people think, what's going on in their life, their problems. And if they're not careful, guess what's going to happen? What, what's that? They're going to sink. I knew it. Right, right down in the water. Well, no. Glug, 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 glug. And he went overboard. No, not, not, not into the water, no. They sink down into self and into sin. And if we sink, there's only one name to call on. What name is that, kids? Jesus. That's right. I knew that. Okay, good. I'm glad you knew that. Jesus is the one. Jesus is the one that heals. He's the one that delivers. He's the one that can lift you up. I like that story. 